most relevant to, to me I, it would be the Fringe Festival, which I have, have an association with. And obviously people would consider Fringe Theater to be like, oh yeah, that's in May. That's, uh, that's, that's uh, what, 12 days in May, and then we, we can't wait for it to happen again. But we, we can't just have 12 days. Right. We have 365 days, and this year we have 366 days. Why should it just be 12 days? Hi, this is Ryan for Orlando Scene TV, and today a local performance artist by the name of Brian Feldman is having a press conference about his performance art piece that he's going to be doing on Leap Year Day. It is called Leap Year Day. So they're actually they're breaking down the press conference from last night. Yeah. The, the naming announcement. Oh, I see. Yeah. So the, trash bags down there. <laughs> this is this is the, the most. Are, are there any trash bags at your uh, at your? Uh, Press conference? There has to be. Yeah. There has to be. We have food coming. So. Right, right. Yeah. What is Leap Year Day? It is an extra day that comes every four years. Thanks for work in the Ukrainian calendar that we are taking advantage of to stage a very uh, zany, fun, exciting event uh, in, the, in the very heart of Central Florida. It will actually be taking place directly outside of City Hall um, on City Commons Plaza. And for 24 hours, I will be leaping off the 12 foot high uh, summit into something. Our goal of our department is to elevate the status of arts and culture in Central Florida to that befitting a world class community. And performance art installations are one of those ways that we can do that, especially innovative ones that are going to take a day that people around the world take notice of, but what do they do with it? So the idea of Brian's exploring this leaping and this leap day and the numbers related to it and the 1,440 minutes of that day that are extra to us, um, I think is fabulous. County governments like ours are mostly about containment, containment of sewer and traffic and people and criminals and things like that. Um, the leaper uh, for my department symbolizes beyond containment there's the expansion of the mind that needs to happen the taking a leap of faith <clears throat> which our county is so um, based on a man named Walt Disney who took a great big leap of faith saying let's take this big chunk of swamp and make it a place everyone in the world wants to come to or um, even the leap of faith of John Kennedy in the space program saying let's like leap off the earth all the way to the moon and it's just exciting to see a performance art piece that will take place that will reach every demographic within the city. Because whether you're sweeping the halls at City Hall, or you're the mayor looking outside of his office, you're going to be a part of this experience that's going to happen throughout the 24-hour period. So, you know, it's nearly 50,000 cars trans transit Orange Avenue directly at City Hall. So it's just it's a fantastic event to do it outside, and just the amount of traffic. So I'm very excited about being able to bring in technology, um, to incorporate uh, <coughs> numerous uh, secret elements of this project with Brian. But uh, as you see also downstairs, it's our Leap Year headquarters for Leap Year Day. Um, City Arts Factory was kind enough to allow us to use our space as a base camp uh, for this project. We're looking at this as a 3 minute and 56 second uh, performance piece performed 366 times over the course of the day. It's the general nature of the piece, it will evolve over the course of the day. Yeah, of course. And also on Friday as well is certainly going to be some of the pinnacle points <coughs> due to the traffic downtown as well as the press thing in the morning. Um, that it's going to definitely evolve. It's such a long piece that the evolution of the piece and how it's going to be is certainly something we're all excited to see. We'll right. be changing my costume, my outfit every hour. So I'm going to 24 vintage looks across the spectrum, trying to embody every type of person and personality playing this character called the Leaper. That basically opened up their entire collection to Brian. Um, and so we're looking for different types of vintage track wear as well as some modern stuff. As well as I believe he is going to be leaping off the summit um, wrapped in red tape as well. <laughs> but, but, but that might be... <laughs> If 
support and encourage more of these type of public art buildings pieces. And I think the project may be uh, deemed by myself to be a failure. Yes. Yeah. 